Yahweh Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Karnadash. Shalom to the uh, elders. Uh, Shalom to the uh, elders. Wahakim Wahakwa. When I say Shalom, uh, Barak Thumb to the uh, elders. Wahakim Wahakwa. When I say Shalom, and the heavenly Father, true name is Yahweh, and His unbegotten Son, Bahashem, and name of Mashiach, Yahweh those are the two names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan, the Lashwan, the Tum. And I say Barak Thum to the uh, elders of Akim or Akwaf, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, quick sit down lesson of uh, Zechariah 13, and verse 1, all the way in through verse 9. And that's going to be the title of the sit down lesson. This is uh, Zechariah 13, and verse 1. It says, In that day there shall be a found, fountain open the house of David. Right, because the Israelites, you know, the sons and daughters of the children of power, you know, they are the descendants of uh, David, you know. And it says, uh, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, right, because Jerusalem is a people before us, a place as well, too. Keep that in mind. For sin and for uncleanness. Zechariah 13, verse 2. And it shall come to pass, and that day said the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that I will cut off the names of the idols out of the land, and that shall no more be remembered, and also will cause the prophets and the unclean spirits to pass out the land. Right during those ancient times. This is Zechariah 13 and verse 3. And it shall come to pass, and that and it shall come to pass that when they shall yet prophesy, prophesy then his father and his mother that begave him, begat him. And sh shall say unto him, Thou shalt not leave, thou shalt not live, for the speaker lies in the name of the Lord Yahweh, and his father and his mother that began him shall trust him throughout when he proph prophesied. Zechariah 13 and verse 4. And it shall come to pass in that day that the prophet shall be ashamed in every man his vision when he had prophesied, neither shall there wear a rough garment to deceive. Zechariah 13 verse 5 it said but he it said but he shall say I am no prophet I am a husbandman for a man taught me to keep cattle from thy mouth the prophet Ezekiel I mean prophet Zechariah 13 and verse 6 and one shall say unto him what are these wounds thy by hands then shall answer those with which I Wound in the house of my friend. Zechariah 13 and verse 7. Awake, O sword, against my shepherd and against the man that is my fellow, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. Smite the shepherd and the sheep shall be scattered. And I will turn my hand upon the little ones. Zechariah 13 and verse 8. And it shall come to pass in the land, saith the Lord Yahweh. Two parts that ran shall be cut off in D.I.E. But the third part shall be left therein. Zechariah 13 and verse 9. It says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried, and they shall call on my name. Right, the Israelites, Judah and Jerusalem, Zion to Zion. From the ancient times, and this is going to be taking place in modern day times as well, too. The scripture says, There's no new thing in the sun. It says, I will, and I will hear them. And I will say, it's my people, right? The Israelites, Judah and Jerusalem. And they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power, right? Yahweh of Israel, you know? So with that, this was just a quick sit down lesson of uh, Zechariah 13, verse 1 to verse 9. And that was the title of the sit down lesson. So with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akarkadash. And the Heavenly Father, the true name is Yahweh. And his unbegotten son, Bahashem, in the name of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Those are their true names in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, the Lashwan Kadash, the whole tongue. And I say Barakatham to the uh, elders, Wa'akim, Wa'akwaf. Until next time, I will say Kwame Asherala and Shalom.